is up you guys double rhino back here with a new action figure review for all this is of the dc multiverse build a figure target exclusive beast boy uh wave pretty much uh he does come with the feet uh his bow some arrows his arrow sheath holder trading card and of course display stand and the figure himself so this is of course red arrow uh, or arsenal whatever you want to call him i do call him red arrow so that's probably what i'll stick with really don't care about the name that he has now but he's of course the leg build a figure piece i'm just missing donna troy which is the uh, arms not the hands and there he is i'm really confused on that nose piece that he's got going on looks like it they gave him like a bandaged broken nose kind of but i'm excited to see his tattoos because we really don't have a dc uh multiverse figure that has tattoos on him so really interested to see what they look like um out of the packaging so without further ado guys let's get it cracked open and see what he's all about and here is arsenal out of the packaging of course before we get down to the figure himself we get down to what he comes with so he does come with his trading card there the dc data file trading card um very than nice Roy harper uh just goes over his bio speedy red arrow arsenal whatever you want to call him um really cool excited to have this guy to the collection um, I really wish he had that head uh, that head sculpt a lot more. I really don't dig that one. He kind of looks like a uh, like a jock teenager uh, dressing up like cosplaying as Red Arrow. Um, so yeah, uh, it does come with the the feet left and right of Beast Boy for the final build of figure piece. So this is number four of four from the Teen Titans, and of course here's the other leg as well. Not too shabby. He does come with a stack of arrows. Not a single arrow, though. And then, of course, he does come with the arrow holder, the sheath holder for the arrows. Um, fairly well sculpted, honestly. I do like the color of red, that amber red. And, of course, he does come with his bow staff, which is also a little bit bendy right there in the back. And that's all it really comes with. Oh, yeah. And, of course, the classic DC black stand that I really get tired of because I have so many of those and I don't use them. So they're just kind of piling up now. Um... Roy Harper himself, though, fairly nice figure. I do like this sculpt. Uh, kind of the same uh, size type as uh, Nightwing. A little bit thinner, not too bulky like Batman, uh, Superman, or any other uh, DC heroes that we have. Um, they're just a little bit thinner, a little bit shorter, um, which is, you know, cool because they're supposed to be the Teen Titans. So they're supposed to just be a little bit on the uh, shorter, thinner side. Um, they're not supposed to be as bulky as, you know, the superheroes because these are sidekicks uh, I do love everything about this body except for the head um, I always brag about or talk about the most about the head sculpt being on point but I really just do not dig this uh, Roy Harper head I, I'm just not a fan I don't dig the glasses the bulky glasses uh, I do dig the reverse hat um, wish it was like the long hair and of course I'm just not a fan of this nose piece it's it's really weird for me and I'm, I'm it just confuses me every time i like this figure i'm like what is that like is that his nose is that supposed to is that a bleed through every time i look at him i'm like oh man that's a bleed through from the mask but nope that's that's just part of the figure tattoos are cool though i do dig that uh there on that side and of course on the other side there it's a skull with scorpion that says poison of course this is a skull uh like with supposed to be maybe snakes and then of course the wings so that is cool. I do like how they added tattoos to the Roy Harper. Um, this is when he's like more of a serious type. I can't remember if this is supposed to be the clone or if this is actually the Roy Harper. I don't know. If you ever watch Young Justice, you kind of know what I'm talking about. That is a great show. I always recommend watching that. Uh, it is a great kid's show, uh, even for adults. So definitely give that a watch. Um, Sculpt is fairly nice. I do dig this. Um, looks like maybe possible repaints and use parts from other figures. Uh, can't really say for certain, for certain, my bad. Kind of slurring my words there now. Uh, we'll go ahead and attach this bad boy to the back here and give you it. I think the arrows are going to be loose, kind of like, but yeah, see they kind of rattle in the back there and, and they can fall out really easy like, so definitely going to have to put a, some uh, tacky stuff in there and let that hold in place. Uh, for articulation wise, the head can go up this far and of course this far down. Can rotate 360. Uh, arms can go 360 as well. They can go down this far and then of course this far up. Does not have a little bit of a butterfly joint. Bicep can go 360 as well. 
double jointed elbows. Wrist can go 360 up and down, and of course side to side. Can move a little bit at the torso, can go 360 there as you can see. Down this far and of course this far back does have a little bit of hip movement as well. Fairly nice. Legs can go out this far, this far back. Does have that good old double jointed knee. Can move at the ankle this far down, this far up. Rotate 360 and of course the little lovely toe pivot. Um, for color schemes of course it's just that amber red. A little bit of bright red. So kind of sticking with some monochromatic colors for the uh, Teen Titans here as you can see. But yeah, definitely excited to add uh, Roy Harper to the uh, Titans that I got going on. I just need to get Aqualad, uh, Kid Flash, and of course got to finish my Beast Boy. So I guess I got to get the Donna Troy next time I see her. Definitely will pick her up and uh, review Beast Boy for you all. Um, but yeah, outside of that, guys, this has been Double Rhino. Click what you love, love what you cook, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.